The Cincinnati Bengals are on the road this week off to New Orleans to take on a 2-3 and three Saints bunch who could be very tricky to figure out when they have the ball. And his first pass is a beauty for a touchdown to Adam Troutman. The Bengals defense will really have to be on their toes if New Orleans is as handy with that Swiss Army knife of theirs. Taysom Hill throwing that TD pass and then running in three more. Got a long nail that needs trimming, maybe a small screw you need secured. Hill is the guy for the job. Back to Taysom Hill. Hill up the middle and in. The Wildcat quarterback, Taysom Hill. Then there's Alvin Kamara. Saints fans have been waiting for one of his signature games. Finally got it last week. 4.5 a run, over 100 on the ground. They've got this man back. Has been running strong. The Bengals just faced the Ravens. It's not apples to apples, but there are similarities. Is that a benefit to the Saints? Cincinnati gave up 5.5 a run to Baltimore. There was just no way that Eli Apple could stop all of that coming at him. The Bengals' pass defense will have to make sure not to lose track of Kamara, even if he doesn't get the handoff. He caught six passes in week five for 91 yards, thus the signature. Kamara's back in there. They set up the screen for him. He's got a convoy, and he's across midfield and into open space. He was even more important than usual because the Saints were without Michael Thomas. Were they really, though? Can you be without something if you don't ever really have it? Either way, Cincinnati's top corner will draw Chris Olave. That's the guy who the passing game flows through. Close to 80 yards per game so far. Off the play fake, winds up, fires a fastball, complete out to the 29. You think he likes Cheetos? Awuzie is the corner he'll get to know best. Rating allowed just 55 through five games. Just cannot break out of the tackle of Awuzie again. There's the best corner covering the tight ends. He's a big reason the Bengals have been so hard to pass on. Rating near 70. Yards per attempt, low sixes, more INTs than TDs allowed. Their skills on display versus Lamar Jackson, who didn't even average six an attempt, rating barely over 70. Jackson, sideline shot, too tall, and intercepted. Andy Dalton got the call again in week five for the Saints. We'll have to see if Jameis is ready for this week. Dalton has been serviceable, though. I think that's what they say about me. Game preview guy, he's serviceable. Dalton has completed close to 70% of his passes, rating close to 100, over eight an attempt. And now Andy Dalton under pressure, able to get it off though, picks up 13. Joe Burrow is not supposed to be game preview guy-ish. His play last week might not have even been that. 217 yards, a touchdown, an interception, rating 82.7. His 2022 is not super shiny either. Sub-90 rating, five INTs. Burrow throws to Chase. It's an interception for Patrick Queen. His old LSU teammate gets him. Burrow didn't have T. Higgins last week, so it was a boatload of throws to Jamar Chase with Marlon Humphrey on him. Chase only pulled in seven of his 12 targets, just 50 yards. After the game officially of two to Chase. Incomplete. If Marshawn Lattimore is healthy, that's who takes Chase. Lattimore got hurt last week, too. Saints defense as a whole wasn't great versus Geno Smith. Three TDs allowed, no INTs, rating allowed close to 140. It's up at midfield. He wants the end zone. He wants Lockett, and he's got him again. What about Joe Mixon? He finally showed up to the party in week five. 5.6 a run, close to 80 yards. It wasn't against a great rush defense, but... Mixon for the first down. But it's not like the Saints have been stalwarts against the run either, allowing 4.5 a carry this season. Off and there's Walker's first big run of the game, and it's a huge hole. Kenneth Walker, the 21-year-old rookie, is gone for 69 yards. A couple of two and three bedfellows, both hoping to climb out and back to the 500 bed. Who takes it? You know how it works. Fill the comments section already. We will fill the screen with predictions.